everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have to find the value of this triple integration i have written here okay using spherical coordinate system and they have mentioned s s is what a unit sphere unit sphere that means a sphere having center 0 0 0 and radius 1 i have drawn that sphere also okay so yes the form integral i have mentioned here so we have to convert this problem in spherical coordinate system so we have standard substitution to pro to convert problem in spherical coordinate system so we put x is equal to rho sin phi cos theta y is equal to rho sin phi sin theta and z is equal to rho cos phi then dx dy dz will be rho square sin phi d rho d phi and d theta let us try to understand what is rho phi and theta see if you consider any point in r3 okay i'm considering a point p in r3 so see uh, when we express it p uh, having cartesian coordinates x y z then we say so x is nothing but distance of point p from origin along x axis y y means distance from origin along y axis and uh, z means distance of from origin along z axis so when we write p having uh, spherical coordinates rho phi and theta see what we do if i join the point p with origin okay so there is some distance of point p from origin that is nothing but rho so this line makes some angle with positive z axis that is nothing but phi okay so obviously this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis if you take its projection on xy plane okay so so we will have some point here if i join it with origin so this line makes some angle with positive x axis that is nothing but theta so th uh, this is a meaning of rho phi and theta okay see we have converted the that means we have used this substitution to convert a problem in spherical coordinate system after that the main task is to find limits of rho phi and theta see let me write here then rho limits of rho phi and theta see rho means distance from origin getting so when you have a unit sphere so minimum distance will be zero and maximum will be one since that sphere has radius one since they have clearly mentioned it is a unit sphere whose equation is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to one so limits of rho will be zero to one so when you talk about phi what we do we take limit here zero to pi getting and limit of theta will be 0 to 2 pi so we can cover an entire sphere okay i will try to explain this concept so when you have a diagram like this okay and suppose you have point p here it this angle is phi so when you say 0 to pi 0 to pi getting 0 to pi that means you will have half circle since maximum angle is pi 180 degree so we will have half circle phi will vary from 0 to pi and after that this is theta this angle is what theta okay so if you take projection this angle is theta so theta is 0 to 2 pi so now we have a 360 degree that means if you have a half circle and if you rotate by 360 degree then you will have a complete sphere okay try to understand so half circle half circle we have getting like this and if you rotate by 360 degree 360 degree then we will have a complete sphere like this let me show it here suppose half sphere and if you rotate by 360 degree then we will have a complete sphere like this so these are limits we have let me remove unnecessary part and then we will go further let us solve the integral now okay so normally we in outer integration with respect to theta we take middle integration with respect to phi and inner integration with respect to rho what is the function we have e raise to e raise to x square plus y square plus z square so if you put all these things here let me tell you its value will be rho square keep in your mind x square plus y square plus z square is equal to rho square you can try in rough you will have the same value by using the formula sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 and sin square phi plus cos square phi is 1 so let me write it directly so rho square and what we have raised to 3 by 2 again raised to 3 by 2 dx dy dz as i told you earlier so its value is rho square sin phi d, d rho d phi d theta let us solve it further so see this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to pi integration 0 to 1 
see 2 and raise to 1 by 2 will get cancelled to each other that means simply we will have e raise to rho cube rho square sin phi let me write here we have d rho d phi d theta okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further See now we have to solve this integration but it is not that much simple getting since rho e raise to rho cube rho square is there so it is little bit complicated to solve this problem what will i do i am going to put something let me write it here putting see i am going to put okay i am going to put rho cube is equal to t let me write here putting rho cube is equal to t so you know that when we put anything we have to find its derivative we have to change the limits let us do that its derivative will be 3 rho square d rho derivative of t is 1 dt so that means rho square d rho is equal to dt by t so what is benefit of it rho square d rho we can simply replace it by dt by 3 let us find limits for rho is equal to 0 and for rho is equal to 1 we have okay so let us find the values of t for these values of rho t is equal to 0 cube is 0 1 cube is 1 right so therefore i will be integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to pi see when you integrate with respect to rho sin phi is constant we can take it outside sin phi i am taking outside okay so integration 0 to 1 new limits are also 0 to 1 e raise to rho cube whose value is t e raise to t and rho square d rho we can replace it by dt by 3 right yes dt by 3 and after that we have to write d uh, phi and d theta let me remove this one it is not required now okay so we'll have some more space to write d phi d theta tell me shall i shall we take that 1 by 3 outside yes definitely it is a constant so we can take that 1 by 3 outside 1 by 3 integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to pi sin phi integration of e raise to t is now e raise to 2 t only 0 to 1 d phi d theta let us solve it further we will put upper limit lower limit tell me what will we have see let me write it here sin phi if i put 1 e raise to 1 is 1 if i put 0 e raise to 0 is 1 d phi d theta so actually it's a constant so we can take it outside let me take it outside okay let me write in this way so this is equal to e minus 1 by 3 integration 0 to 2 pi see i am taking it outside e minus 1 since it is a constant now we have sin phi only and we have to integrate with respect to phi integration of sin phi is minus cos phi let me write it here minus cos phi having limit 0 to pi d, phi, d theta now with respect to theta only since with respect to phi we have already taken integration so this is equal to e minus 1 by 3 integration 0 to 2 pi i am putting pi so cos pi is minus 1 but already there is minus sign minus minus uh, plus or c plus what will i do i will take this minus sign outside to avoid the confusion i am putting pi now so cos pi is minus 1 minus cos 0 is 1 d theta so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and it is a constant we can take it outside minus minus plus 2 e minus 1 by 3 integration of d theta is theta 0 to 2 pi so we can put upper limit lower limit but lower limit is 0 if you put 0 we will have 0 if i put 2 pi so we'll have 4 2 pi into this 2 4 pi e minus 1 by 3 so this is a required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye